Welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. Today we have an exciting project for you. We will be building a wireless soil moisture sensor with a built-in microenergy harvester. This project will allow us to remotely monitor soil moisture levels using a capacitive soil moisture sensor. And the cool part is we don't even have to recharge it manually. So let's dive right in. Imagine having the ability to remotely monitor soil moisture levels in your garden or farm effortlessly. Well. With this exciting project, that's what we are trying to accomplish. The main issue with the concept is about powering these remote sensors. Manually recharging them or changing the batteries periodically is a horrendous task and out of the question. That's where renewable energy sources like solar energy come to power. But problem with the traditional solar solutions? You guess the price as well as the size of the parts required. That's where ultra low power energy harvester power management unit like 5091 from analog devices come to play. So let's get started. But before we get there, let's have a quick look at DigiKey Electronics, who is not only the sponsor of this video but also the supplier of all the components we have used in this project. DigiKey provides more than 13.4 million components from over 2300 quality name brand manufacturers with an industry leading breadth and depth of product in stock and available for immediate shipment. DigiKey can act as your one-stop shop for all your electronic component needs. Also with their fast shipping and excellent customer service you can trust that your components will always arrive on time and in top condition. So Do remember to check out DigiKey for your next project. So the basic principle behind this project is just like any other solar energy harvesters. We have an ultra low profile solar cell that is connected to the ADP5091 PMU from the analog devices. The ADP5091 will charge the batteries even at the low light conditions using MPPT technology. The ADP5091 will then distribute this power to the rest of the circuit using the built-in voltage regulator. The microcontroller will then turn on the sensor module at the given interval to sense the soil moisture. Once the reading is taken, the MCU will turn off the sensor circuitry and will turn on the LoRa module. Then the sensor data is sent to the LoRa gateway using LoRa module. Once it's done, The MC will turn off the LoRa module and will go to a deep sleep cycle to save power until the next interval. Now that we have the basic understanding, let's take the look at the circle diagram of this project. Here the circuit is actually really simple. The entire circuit is divided into four major sections. So, let's look at each section. The first section is the power stage and the heart of the section is the ADP5091 power management unit chip from analog devices you can find them from digikey at a very low price of $7 even at single quantities so do check them out along with the pmu there are plenty of jelly bean components in this section to ensure the proper operation of the pmu the power for the pmu is coming from this tiny solar cell which is rated for around 123 milliwatt of power which can also be found on DigiKey for a very low price of $5 even at smaller quantities. So, do check them out. The ADP5091 will use the MPPT technology to use the solar power to charge up the internal battery. You could also use a super capacitor, but since we are working with LoRa and they can be a bit power demanding, I have used the LiPo battery instead. The next section is obviously the brain of this circuit. which is the popular Atmega 328P microcontroller. We have used the SMD version of the Atmega 328 to make the project as compact as possible. You can also find them in many other packages on DigiKey. Choose the one that is more appropriate for you. In the sensor section, we have the TLC 555C, which is the low voltage version of popular 555 timer chip. The timer and the supportive components forms an oscillator that works on a set frequency. The measurement part of the sensor is made out of two PCB tracks on the PCB. They act as a capacitor that is connected to the oscillator circuit. Once the sensor is placed in the soil, the moisture in the soil will change the capacitance of the capacitor. And with that, the frequency of those oscillation on the 555 timer is also changed. 
this change in frequency is then translated to an analog voltage from 1 to 3 volt and this can be detected with any microcontroller once the reading is taken we will turn off the oscillator circuit to save power the last section of the circuit is the RFM69 LoRa module which is responsible for the communication with the gateway the microcontroller will turn on the module prior to sending the data and once it's done the controller will turn off the module and go to deep sleep for saving power at this time the PMU will charge up the battery again and after a certain set of intervals in this case one hour then MCU will come out of the sleep and do the send cycle again now for the convenience and robustness we have designed a PCB for our project by the time the boards are arrived we also received all the required components from DigiKey with a few minutes of assembly and soldering the board was ready for programming now let's look at the data we have collected you can see the soil moisture data in the past 24 hours the data is being updated every hour so that's all for this video guys with that this is Joe Beat signing out see you later